Hello Taurus, this is Thorbrine. I'm here to do a reading today for August the 1st through the 7th. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your story. This is going to be for August the 1st through the 7th. Be the sun, the moon, rising, and Venus and Jupiter. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. What important message is for Taurus for August the 1st through the 7th? What important messages for Taurus the 1st through the 7th of August 2020? What important messages? Mmm, wow. Some of you guys going to have some luck for next month. For, yeah, you're going to have material wealth, positive and solid love relationship. You're going to have peace. Oh, my God. <laughs> This is the happiest card in the deck. Tell me more about this. So some of you guys might be dealing with Leo. Tell me more about the sun. Tell me more about the sun. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Yep, the justice. Okay, some of you guys are going to receive some money from the justice system. You have wealth and abundance for the, uh, the month of August. <laughs> Oh, some of you guys are dealing with a Libra or a Leo. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Hmm. Someone wants to apologize to you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. This is someone who wants victory with you. They want to move forward. This is someone that plant their seed with you already. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. This person is in and out to your life. You see this person as a player. This person wants commitment. This person see you as their twin flame. And they're keeping this a secret. But it was things that is uh, hidden. Tell me more about this high priestess. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. This person hiding the fact that they see you as a missed opportunity. And they're angry with you. Or just someone could be obsessed with you. And they're feeling the repercussions of their actions. Tell me more. Tell me more. Just tell me more. Tell me more. This person want to pour all their emotions out to you. And they want to move forward. This is someone that was holding back from you. Tell me more. Why was they holding back? Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. The person was trying to control their emotions. And they wanted positive change. And they want to come in and speak the truth to you. Because they see you as someone is very successful. They see you as someone is very grounded. They see you with someone who really got it going on. They see abundance with you. This is an ex. They're sad. There's too many cards. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. This person is heartbroken. And they definitely think about the good times they had with you. And they're trying to make a decision. They want to work on things with you. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. And that person wants to sweep you out there, off your feet. But there was some deception going on. Tell me more about this. Seven of Swords. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. The seven of Swords. The person see you as someone who met their financial goal in life. And they want to tell you the truth. Or they want to tell you the truth about someone that they met or dealing with. That met, this is the person that met their financial goal in life. They want to tell you the truth about this. This is someone that could have kids with. Or this is someone that could have been married to. Or committed to. This person was very controlling. And this person had a big ego. Oh, they want to tell you the truth about someone who had a big ego. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Tell me more. And that stressed them out real bad. They couldn't sleep at night time. So they ghost this person. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. This is someone they had an ending with. And they was holding on to this person. They had one foot in and one foot out. 
This is someone that cut out of their life. Ten and one. Ten and one. I just ten and one. Ten and one. Because of, it was things that was hidden. There was some lines going on. Tell me more about this moon. Tell me more about the moon. This is they they was hiding some. They were hiding the fact they let this person go. Or someone they had a reunion with. Could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Gemini. This is why they was holding back from you, because they had a reunion with somebody else. And this person is definitely watching you. Because they see you as this strong, dominant uh, female. This could be a male, too. This someone could be a good, uh, a, a good parent. Or they see you as someone that can uh, give them good advice. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra. Hmm. The person see you as someone being it could be in a third party or this is the one that you met at work. They see a loving family with you. This is someone that took a break from you because they was married. Or you could have been married. That's why they took a break from you. That's why they was indecisive about this relationship, but now they want to take this leap of faith. This is someone from your past, and this is someone you could have kids with. This person don't know how you feel about them now. Because they waiting on you. This person definitely waiting. They want this new start with you. They are very passionate about you. But some of you guys are starting a new business. A new, a new job. A new relationship. The person see you as someone is very grounded. They see you as someone very nourishing. And um, someone who liked to give. This is someone you had an ending with. This person feeling left out in the cold. Get you over our energy. For Taurus, over our energy. Hmm, someone that you had fights, a disagreement with, an argument with. Could be a Gemini or this is someone that's trying to manifest you back into their life. Because the person see you as a soulmate. And they want to fight for this relationship. Because they see you as this empress. All the queens rolling to one. They see you being very abundant. Or you could be pregnant. Or this could be a new relationship they want to come in and fight for. So they made a decision to be patient about this. They asked an angel to help them make this decision about you. But they struggling with this. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. They want to commit to you because they see a loving and happy family with you. They see that you're, they wish fulfillment because they see a long term with you, a long term uh, relationship, not worried about money. This is someone live at a distance. They want to pour all their emotions out to you. They want to send you a very important message about why they had to walk away and end things with you. Could be a cause of a cancer or a Leo. They want to talk to you about this or tell the truth about this. About the about a betrayal. So your person want to come in and tell you the truth why they had to walk away from you. So I hope you like this reading. Um, give me a thumbs up. And thank you guys for following my channel. Until next time.